From September 2016, the British Library has been working in partnership with public libraries based across the United Kingdom through a new network called the Living Knowledge Network. Funded by Arts Council England and the British Library, this network sees the British Library partner with public libraries to share skills, exchange knowledge and develop joint offers to audiences. Parallel to the Living Knowledge Network formation, the British Library developed a new exhibition about Harry Potter and the History of Magic, which opened in October 2017 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the publication of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. We are combining centuries-old artefacts from the British Library's collection around the themes of the history of magic, as well as brand new items that have never been on display before from Bloomsbury's and J.K. Rowling's own archives. What makes this exhibition really distinctive and actually unique is that we've been able to share the exhibition not only with audiences in London, but also with our friends and partners all around the country. We partnered with Living Knowledge Network Libraries to produce Harry Potter panel displays which have been seen in multiple locations across the UK, featuring images and information about some of the most exciting items from the London exhibition. Unique local treasures have been added to the displays to add local context to the British Library's narrative. It's been a real opportunity to go into our own archives, our own collections, and to see what we have that complement these themes along the history of magic. That's been really beneficial for us. It's something new that we've not done before, and it's brought in lots of different new customers. It's Vital Petronum! Libraries have worked with local partners, including universities, museums, and theatres, to create their displays and put on events. Some of those activities have been quizzes in association with Pottermore for teams to come together and compete for prizes. Question number one, what colour is the Hogwarts Express? We've also been live streaming talks as part of the Hogwarts Curriculum Lecture Series which have been on here in London but we've been able to share with the rest of the country. What I want to talk about today is the magic of the stars. We've done the Beasts Among the Bookshelves event, which is a storytelling event to celebrate Harry Potter book night. The Grindelow is found in lakes throughout Britain and Ireland. Also, libraries have been able to do their own content around the history of magic and around Harry Potter with their own communities. Well, I think they're getting love and appreciation of Harry Potter, a love of libraries and reading, and I think they're just getting a lot of fun. They're enjoying themselves, and that's what we're here for. Go. Boom. We've had so much feedback from libraries, from library staff and on social media from people who are enjoying their time in libraries and that's been really brilliant to see. It's been a very, very popular exhibition because there are so many people that just love Harry Potter. I think it's been a start of a different way of working for us and how we can develop new, really interactive exhibitions. Wingardium Leviosa! The special nature of each of these exhibitions has been something that's been quite extraordinary, unique, distinct and very, very ambitious. We have been delighted to work with public library partners on this project and as the network moves out of its pilot and as we grow and develop further, we look forward to doing more exciting and innovative projects like this around the United Kingdom and with public libraries.